what's so difficult. That's it's a cruel question. So you want a, a snapshot of a typical suite. I hate this because I don't. I hate doing you know typical anything because nobody's really typical. Everybody's different. But yes. if you were to ask me to describe, uh, well, I would describe my friend Anders, who is uh, uh, who likes uh, likes a beer. He likes the pub. Uh, he's got uh, quite a dry sense of humour. Uh, he's a very loving family man. Uh, he's got a great family. Um, uh, maybe, maybe, and perhaps this is a verging on the national stereotype, maybe he does at times take life a little bit too seriously. He is very restrained because of social expectations, but he's probably looking for an opportunity to open up. And that's probably why Swedes like to go to Spain and to uh, the Mediterranean, because they're looking for a, an avenue to open up. No, I always said that the Swedes are very high, very calm, very calm, very strong, and very strong. And they like to drink, probably. People are not very emotional there. and uh, kind of very controlled, a st stiff upper lip type of people, the older generation. Uh, the younger generation maybe are different. I, I haven't been in Sweden for maybe about 10 years. У меня сразу возникает образ белокурого такого викинга, почему не знаю, швед, да, такой красивый парень. Вот это все, по-моему. Я не знаю, Вольва, это шведская машина? And I think if you put a, you know, a, a national scale of uh, uh, compliance with the law and uh, law-abidingness, then you know the Swedes and the Swiss would be up there, sort of, you know, com and the Germans to a degree, perhaps, complying with what they, what their state tells them to, and, and the letter of the law. We have a saying in, in English, which is, "Rules are meant to be broken," uh, and, and and you know, a lot of a lot of countries, perhaps the Swedes, would have difficulty. У меня есть стереотипы о том, что шведы очень красивые, что они очень породистые, они должны быть все высокими, светловолосыми, голубоглазыми, немножко тормозными. This will probably come as a huge shock. Whenever I mention this to Swedish people, they are absolutely shocked by it. But for some reason, Sweden is associated with pornography. I don't know whether it's true. I've never been to Sweden, but that is the general impression. People think that, you know, for, well, of course they think that every Swedish girl is blonde, which is obviously not true, but it's kind of a stereotype of, uh, of what the Swede looks like. And then there's, a, there's, a, there's these sort of thing. there's a kind of medieval pornography. It is part of uh, the everyday life of the, of the average Swede. And I suppose on the other side, you know, there's this impression it's a relatively small northern European country. Uh, you don't really hear an awful lot in terms of, of, of major social problems in Sweden. I'm sure there are parts of Sweden where there are social problems, but relative to some of the other countries, the bigger countries in Europe, it, the impression that most of us have, I think, in the West, uh, in, the West in, in, in England um, of Sweden, is that it's a prosperous, small country uh, where there's a decent uh, and progressive political system and also a fair amount of pornography thrown in.